Dr. Beast Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about Gray Man. The ability to go unnoticed. I know I've done a video about this, but it's been quite a while. Um, what is Gray Man? Gray Man is basically dressing, acting, carrying yourself, moving in such a way that you basically go unnoticed. It's like that person that nobody ever pays any attention to. They're so average, so normal looking, they don't stand out at all. That's the concept of gray man. So why gray man? Well, you know, if things are going south and you're in a city or a town or whatever else around any other people, the ability to blend in and not stick out would be a very good thing. You know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be near a, for example, right now is applicable. You don't want to be anywhere near like a Black Lives Matter. You don't want to go to CHOP zone in Seattle, Antifa stand, um, in, you know, 5'11 pants, a um, Hawaiian shirt and a tactical hat. You just don't. That's not gray man. Gray man also wouldn't be wearing camouflage. Unless maybe... You're in, the, you're in areas where a lot of people hunt. I think, comes to mind, the south. But there's lots of other areas too. Lots of any other rural areas. Pretty much almost any rural area in the United States where people hunt a lot, where hunting's a big thing. Um, you know, the hunting patterns that people wear. Mossy oak, you know, a real tree. You know, I call them, I call them redneck camo. And that's no disrespect intended. It's just what I call it. Um, civilian camo versus military camo. In military camo, you're pretty much never going to be um, gray man in military um, camouflage patterns. You're going to stick out almost anywhere you go. Actually, everywhere you go, unless you're on a military base. <laughs> so, um, it would be doing things that won't stick out. Like if you're, like I live in Washington State, wearing a Seahawks hat fits in. Wearing a, say, Dallas Cowboys hat or, you know, just pick a team. Any other team would not necessarily fit in. Um, shirts that say things. You know, flamboyant stuff. Bright colors. That'll help you make you stick out. Like this shirt. Gray shirt. Gray man. Hey. Kind of just blends in. You know, if you're wearing just like some, I don't I can't say what to wear because everybody's different. Gray man in Florida, in Miami, is not gray man for me in western Washington. Not even close. Gray man for me here in the summertime would probably be flip-flops or sandals with socks. I don't know why they do that here. It's a northwest thing. Um, shorts and a puffy vest. <laughs> And, I don't know, maybe like an REI hat or something like that. That would be gray man in this area. As well as a lot of other things. You know, if you live in a city, it would be like skinny jeans and, uh, you know, a fitted t-shirt and a manicured beard. Stuff like that. So, you guys know where you live. You should know what gray man would be applicable to you. And I'm not talking, when I say gray man, you guys know, it's not just men, it's women also. The concept applies to both. Uh, some different ideas apply to women. If you're a woman, you try to cover up, for the most part, your womanly features. You don't want to be flaunting it, that's for sure, because that'll catch every guy's eye, you know, around you. Um, that's not gray man. Um... Another thing that wouldn't be gray man would be almost anywhere wearing, you know, like tactical pants, 5'11 pants, something like that, um, and a tactical ball cap, and like a t-shirt, even a t-shirt. For me, a little more in this area because there's so much military um, in this area, but um, still for the most part it's not because even if they don't figure you to be, they might figure you to be military, or at least they may figure you to be law enforcement. Um, and you don't want that. You don't want to appear as law enforcement in a gray man situation. 
A lot of gray man, though, is it is in what you wear, yes, but it's also in how you carry yourself. As a self-assured alpha male, I carry myself in such a way that exudes confidence. It's it just it is what it is. I'm not saying I'm a badass. You know, I'm not trying to say I'm some super badass or something like that. I'm just saying that I present a certain look. Everybody presents a certain look. It's just depending on whether you want to have that look at the time or not. In a gray man situation, no, I don't want that look. So instead of having proper posture, sitting up straight, I'd probably you know put my head forward, maybe slump my shoulders, and assume a posture of, um, of less assuredness, of being less sure of myself. Um, how you walk also you know, may apply, depending on where you're at. A lot of this situational dependent, that's why I always tell you I can't give you the answers. Because what applies to me doesn't necessarily apply to you. Um, it's also, you know, whether you're making eye contact with your head's on a swivel, obviously. In a gray man situation, you want to be on a swivel, but you want to be moving those eyes. Even with your head down, kind of look around, you know, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open. But don't try your best to try and to not appear as if you are. You don't want to be looking around like this everywhere you're going because you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. Everybody's going to be like, what's that guy? What's he doing? You know, what's he up to? Kind of stuff. You don't want that. Um, so a lot of it is how you carry yourself, kind of like the attitude you exude. Um, and like I said, how you walk, your posture is big time. Your clothing. Um, another thing is, is you can work, try to maybe wear clothing um, a size too big. Um, if you really fit, you know, don't wear clothing that, that fits properly or that shows off your physique, male and female. Um, wear clothing that hides your physique. Um, if you're not in, you know, good physical condition, um, still, you still don't want to show off, even if you're, you know, you're overweight, maybe you have a big pot belly, something like that, you know, you still don't want tight fitting clothing because people that will still attract attention. You want clothing that, you know, maybe a little bit bigger, but not too big, because that would also attract attention. Your hangs, your clothes are just hanging off you, and you're wearing like a big, like a tent. You know, you don't want that either. You want subtle. You want things that do not stick out. Just like with vehicle, with vehicles. Also, vehicles applies to gray man. You know, you don't want to be right driving around a Maserati in, you know, an inner city area or something like that. You know, you want to be driving an Ameri you know, it doesn't have to be American made, actually, strike that. Um, a, you know, a vehicle that doesn't scream, look at me. I don't want to be driving through um, some parts of towns and cities and stuff like that in my big diesel truck, because that's a dead giveaway. That guy probably doesn't belong here. Something's out of place. Whereas if you're driving like a little Honda Civic, a little Toyota car, something like that, you know, that's a little bit older, Hey, that's nobody's gonna pay any attention to that whatsoever. Um, color matters too, though. Bright colors. Same with your clothing. Um, you don't want bright colored vehicles. I'm not saying go out and sell your vehicle and buy a vehicle just so you can be gray man. No, I'm not saying that. Um, but just a sec. Another thing to think about with gray man is be careful not to overdo it. Because if you overdo it. And you end up looking like really shady or something like that. Like I said, with clothes are too big. Same with how you walk, your attitude, stuff like that. You can overdo it and then stick out. Just think about, look at people. That's a big thing. Be a people watcher. Watch people. Look at their, how their demeanors, how they carry themselves, what they're wearing, um, their posture. All these things say something about that person their confidence level or lack of it, their um, economic situation or lack of it. A lot of different things you can gather from watching people. And if you're watching people, it will help you pick out things that are out of place, for one thing, or dangerous people. Keep an eye on those kind of people. Also, with that said, is if you're watching people on a regular basis, you're seeing what the average is 
how to be average. How do people, you know, in the grocery store, how do people um, act, you know, when they pass each other in the grocery store? Are they looking at their carts, looking at your cart and stuff like that? Are they looking at their cart? Are they in a phone? Are they looking at you? Um, stuff like that. Also, in the other side is men and women it applies to. Don't be checking anybody out. Even if somebody's out there and they're not gray manning it, um, don't be checking them out. Don't be looking at people. Don't stare. Don't hold, you know, your, uh, you know, your, don't look in one place for too long. Keep moving, but make it smooth. Make it subtle. Don't overdo things. You don't want to overdo it to the point where you look like, a, you know, you want to look like, okay, I don't want to look like I'm wealthy, so I'm going to dress way down, and you end up looking like a total scumbag, and then people start looking at you as a threat. Dress to your area. You may be in a very affluent area. So, for you, instead of like a full suit and tie, it may just be, um, you know, khakis and a button-up shirt or something like that. That may be gray man for you. It may be very different based on where you live. If you live somewhere where it's really hot a lot, you know, your gray man may be flip-flops, shorts, and a tank top. I don't know. I don't know what everybody wears in all these areas now. But just think about it. Yeah, so you want to be subtle. You don't want to draw attention. You don't want to have, you know, tight, too tight-fitting or too loose-fitting clothing. You don't want to show off your, you know, your, your body or anything like that. Um, attitude, uh, the look that you present to the world. Just think the most boring possible thing you can. And like I said, don't wear clothing that says things, has like big brand names on them or anything like that, especially things that have messages like writing on shirts because people will look at it and try to read it. And then they will they might notice you. And that may be a good or bad thing. I mean, it all depends on the situation. Just think about all these things and try to as pure, try to appear as boring and plain as possible. I think that got the point across really well. I think I hit up, uh, you know, a, a lot of good points. There may be more to it, maybe some things I hadn't thought about, some ideas. So please throw them in the comment section. I love that. Um, if I missed something or I didn't think about something, or you know, hey, there's stuff out there. So uh, yeah, let's do some comments. I love you guys. Prep a little every day and prep it a peace of mind out of fear. Blessings to you and yours.